Good morning, everyone. This is Beth Rickliffs with IMS Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Thanks for um, taking some time with us today. I've got Kyle from Mutual of Omaha on the phone with us. Um, I will go through a brief um, commercial on IMS. I know that some of you on the line have already heard it, um, but we have some new agents on there too that um, don't know about IMS. And then I will switch that presentation over to uh, Kyle. So um, first off, if you are a new agent um, with IMS, we want to get you started off right. Um, with incentives um, to um, set, uh, set in, in business in your first six months. Um, if you reach certain production levels, um, you will get um, prizes um, and you can <clears throat> choose when you want to cash out on that. But um, for example, the $100,000 level, that would be for annuity production. If you do 100000 of annuity production, in the first six months, you would have those um, choices of the 50-piece mailer, the iPad, the cash. Um, of course, you could level up and the prizes get bigger. How that equates to life insurance dollars is that um, for every 100000 that would equal $10,000 worth of target premium. Um, we also want to... Um, and sent you to give us referrals. I'm sure that um, being in the business, you all enjoy getting referrals. That's usually the best um, uh, people that we can do business with are people that are recommended to us. And we do offer a $50 one-time bonus for every contracted agent that you get to us. And then on top of that, we pay a percentage of commission to you on the, all their business going forward. Um, just as a thank you, um, that isn't a haircut off of your commissions or their commissions. That's right out of IMS pocket. Um, marketing is obviously a big um, part of your business, and we want to help and uh, help to encourage that you're set reinvesting into your business. So we do offer marketing dollars. Um, for every 100000 of index annuity premium, that's going to be $100 of marketing reimbursement. For single premium life, for every 100000 deposited, that's 200 And for target premium, 10000 that's also going to be $200. Um, we want to be your everything when it comes to your business. Um, so um, you have us working for you, but we're not on your payroll. So that's going to include things from um, building your business out, case designs, um, an excellent website so that you have all the forms and information that you need at your fingertips, um, case design, um, you know, you're going to be working with annuity and life insurance sales directors that can help you position a case. Um, we have a wonderful website, and even if you're not licensed with us, you can go ahead and get registered with us. If you are licensed with us, um, you should definitely register on imsinc.com. Um, on the life insurance side, we've got iPipeline, which is a great tool to submit um, life insurance business. We also have our term quoting engine, our GUL quoting engine. We've got a final expense quoter out there. Um, you're going to be able to find forms and educational information, webinar information. And there's also a sales resource library on our website under support or training, I think. Um, and it has a ton of, uh, of information from sample documents to calculators um, and questionnaires. So it's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, since um, COVID has happened, um, it kind of trained transitioned how business was submitted on the annuity and life side and that um, trend caused there to be more electronic application processes created which has actually been a good thing for the life insurance industry um, it does cause fewer mistakes and gets business through quicker but we have a couple of platforms that you would work off of our website one is firelight um, generally, the annuity um, 
cases go through Firelight, although there's a couple life carriers on there. I think Allianz and National Western Life. Um, but for the most part, if we're talking about life insurance, we're going to use iPipeline. So that's iGo eApp Solutions. That's also on our website, and I can show you how to get there um, with your next case. Um, American National also has an electronic platform, but they're not on Firelight or iGo eApp. They have their own um, portal that's also uh, um, accessible through our website. Uh, so you can kind of see the, all the different companies that we have out there that can use Firelight. Um, we have a wonderful creative marketing um, team, and they do everything from web design to logo design, um, uh, uh, business cards, anything you can think of. Um, if you're new to IMS or you haven't worked with a, a, one of the directors on the annuity side or the life insurance side, I'd highly recommend requesting um, doing a marketing analysis. Um, that's a short questionnaire that asks for, you know, information about your practice, where you are now, and where do you want to go. And then the directors can work with the creative marketing team and um, come up with a plan as far as um, marketing material or what type of lead vendors um, you should be using based on what your goals are. Uh, one thing that's really wonderful about IMS is that we don't take a cookie cutter approach at all with your marketing. We meet you where you want to be met and take you where you want to go. So it's very much custom. So if you haven't taken advantage of that, I would suggest um, doing that. Um, and then, of course, we have our wealth management um, side. So we do the, you know, life annuities, um, some Medicare, long-term care, disability, but if you're wanting to get into managed money, um, our wealth management team can take on those that are um, very experienced and want to keep everything in-house with IMS, or if you are just wanting to add that piece um, to your business, um, we can help you with the licensing and things like that to get that started. Um, we're coming, I guess we're in the halfway part of the year, but we do um, put on life academies as well as life and annuity academy academies usually about two days long um uh next week we'll be doing one with north american and then we have an iul only one and at the beginning of august that one's closed out alliance is doing an iul that's closed out but in october we should be having another life and annuity academy so if you're interested in that keep your eyes open for um, pre-registration on that um, we every year do an incentive trip um, one thing that makes us unique about our incentive trips is that we um Ha usually, we have an 18 month um, qualification period. So we usually have two trips that people are qualifying at the same time. Um, this year we're going to the Seaside Sanctuary. And just make sure that you are liking and following us on LinkedIn and Facebook. We usually repost all of our webinars after we've done them. So that's an easy way to find them. If you miss the webinar, um, it, if you ever miss something, um, also just let one of your directors know because we do record everything and we can always email out the link if necessary. And with that, I'm going to change presenters to Kyle. There you go, Kyle. All right. Hopefully you can see my slides. Are they showing up? I can see him. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, thanks for uh, having me on the call. I appreciate it. My name is Kyle Gardner. I'm one of the sales directors here at Mutual of Omaha on our Simplified Issue Life team. Um, so essentially, I handle uh, our life products, our accidental death, uh, critical illness, and annuities at Mutual of Omaha. So let's go ahead and get into the presentation. I'm going to go over a couple products with you today um, and then I'll take questions at the end if there are any. 
But why should you uh, do business essentially with Mutual of Omaha? Brand recognition is a huge thing for us. I can tell you, I probably hear uh, four times a week, somebody tell me how they used to grow up watching Wild Kingdom on Sunday nights with their family. Um, and that's a huge deal for us because it makes you know our name very recognizable out there in the marketplace, but that's a value add for you as the agent. Uh, we've been around since 1909. Uh, fun fact for you is uh, Disability was actually the first product we manufactured and sold as a carrier. Um, but I mentioned our Simplified Life products, but we have a, a huge suite of products at Mutual of Omaha. Not only do we have life, uh, but we've got uh, Medicare supplements, We've got long-term care. We're one of the last carriers within the long-term care space. Uh, I believe there's only about five left, but we do kind of control that market as well. Um, we've got a dedicated team of people to help you. You know, my job is really at Mutual of Omaha to help you be successful with the products that we offer. Um, I've got a great internal uh, Carrie Helgenberger that works with me as well, um, but we've got a, a number of underwriters at Mutual of Omaha that are there to help you get those cases pushed through. Uh, also our sales support line as well, and I'll share those numbers with you. Um, but we've got a very competitive product. Uh, I don't think you're gonna find any products at Mutual of Omaha that aren't competitive within the uh, marketplace. And then we've got fast and simple underwriting. Uh, with our products, You know, we try and get the underwriters to get those uh, push through as, as soon as they possibly can, which means you can get paid quicker and we pay on uh, issue. We don't wait until the money comes in the door. So once that policy is issued, you're going to get paid, which means you can move on to the next case. And then we've got a bunch of different quoting options as well. But here's a look kind of at the brand recognition, uh, you know, Wild Kingdom. We actually just got word that it's coming back on TV, so look for that uh, soon. And then here are all the golfers that we do sponsor. So again, this is just value add for you as the agent. Um, as far as our strong, stable, and secure company, you know, I'm not gonna go through this in depth here, but really what you wanna know is, you know, this is just confidence for you as the clients when you're in the home selling our products that we're gonna be around uh, for many, many years to come. So we are an A-plus, AM best company rated. Here are all of our uh, important numbers to know at Mutual of Omaha. So our sales support number, you can reach out to them if you do have product questions or if you need illustrations or anything like that. Uh, definitely take a screenshot of this slide. Uh, there's the underwriting number. Uh, you are able to go ahead and call the underwriters individually um, if you have questions on a case. And then our I pipeline and EAP support team uh, is there as well. So why sell the Simplified Issue product portfolio? Um, here's a look at kind of all the products that we offer on the Simplified Issue team. Our IUL Express, I'll go over that product with you today. Uh, that is the fastest growing life product we have at Mutual of Omaha. We really are one of the truly simplified issue product uh, products in the marketplace. Um, there's really not another product like that. Um, we've got a living promise, which is our final expense product. Uh, we've got our term life express, children's whole life, another simple, easy to sell product. We see a lot of grandparents within uh, the market that are buying that product. You can get up to eight grandchildren on the same application itself. And we only need the grandparent signature on that. Uh, and then our guaranteed advantage, this is our accidental death product. Uh, this is by far the easiest product we have at Mutual of Omaha to sell, um, simply because there are no underwriting questions. As long as your client is within ages 18 to 70, um, they can go ahead and buy that product. So they can get up to a half a million dollars in accidental death uh, coverage for that product. Um, so the benefits for your clients is with simplified issue products, there are no blood draws, uh, no paramedics, no urine samples, 
very quick issue and then we're going to pay very quick on these products as well so with our simplified issue underwriting um, it is automated underwriting for iul express term life express and living promise e applications we offer both e apps and paper apps but most of the time you are going to get a decision right away when you go ahead and submit that application itself um, you can quote this in numerous quote our products numerous ways we've got both the mobile quoting tool uh, located within the apple iphone store or google play store we've got winflex web and then our applications are located on iGo or ipipeline so let's go ahead and take a look at the very first product itself. That is the Index Universal Life Express product. Um, we have both uh, two ratings for this product. So our issue ages on non-tobacco go all the way up to age 70. And then for tobacco, we go all the way up to age 65. Actually, I, I need to change this slide because we just changed our issue age for non-tobacco all the way up to age 75 now. So this is a great product to take a look at if you are maybe a final expense agent out there in the field um, and you run across a relatively healthy client, um, they're going to get a lot more bang for their buck with this product. But you can get your clients up to $300,000 in coverage. The most popular indexing strategy is our 100% participation rate, which has a 9.25% cap on that product and we have two other participation rates as well that you can choose as far as the underwriting is concerned we're going to go ahead and go off a build chart that's going to be uh, pretty standard for your life insurance uh, build charts that you see out there we're going to pull an mib there's going to be a farm check and then we're going to pull motor vehicle records as needed and then there could be a phone interview involved as well usually it's around one out of every 10 it's pretty random uh, but the phone interview if uh you know the underwriters pull the the pharmaceutical check or the mib and it doesn't match up with the uh actual underwriting questions itself then they may go ahead and reach out to your clients there are some no cost riders involved uh, these are all free of charge and they are um you know, standard on this IUL Express product. Uh, so living benefits, we've got terminal, chronic, and criti critical illness. Uh, there's a waiver of surrender charges for partial withdrawals rider, a guaranteed insurability rider, and then our lapse guard rider. There are a couple cost riders involved on this product. You can get an accidental death benefit rider, which is gonna pay uh, the same amount of coverage if you were to die of an accident, uh, we've got a disability continuation of plan premium rider, a disability waiver of policy charges rider, and then a dependent children's rider. So the basics of this type of policy is a permanent life insurance solution. So it is a whole life product. Um, your clients aren't gonna need to get any medical exams or lengthy health inquiries. And in addition to the death benefit itself, an IUL Express policy also has the potential to accumulate a cash value. And I'll go over that in a second and how that works. Uh, but it is all based off of the growth of the S&P 500. Uh, the cash value can extend the policy's death benefit or allow your clients to even reduce or stop their future payments. So here's kind of the target market for this product. Um, it's gonna be a great product for anybody out there looking for permanent coverage, maybe somebody that is approaching retirement. Uh, I did mention the final expense market. Uh, parents with young children at home that maybe wanna replace their lost income. Clients who have just purchased a new home. So we see this being sold to, uh, you know, mortgage protection type of clients as well. Uh, clients that maybe wanna get coverage quickly and then people that are looking for permanent coverage but don't like you know, needles or lengthy health exams. So here's how the policy works. As you're paying your premiums with an IUL, part of that is gonna go 
to pay for the cost of insurance itself. And then part of that is gonna go into an accumulation account. Uh, that accumulation account is going to build and grow every single year up to 9.25%. Uh, if you are in that 100% participation rate. Um, now, the best thing with this is you're never going to lose money. So you're always going to participate in the growth of the market every single year. But if the market does less than zero, you're only going to get credited zero for that year. So just to continue, uh, I kind of already mentioned this already, but there's two ways to go ahead and quote the product. Um, the mobile quoting tool, if you haven't downloaded that, you're going to search for Mutual of Omaha quotes within our uh, Google Play or Apple iPhone store. You'll see our line head logo pop up and you can download that for free. You don't need to register for that. Um, or you can go ahead and run full illustrations within WinFlex, and you can download WinFlex on our website within Sales Professional Access. So if we go over kind of the benefit riders on the IUL, uh, these are the no-cost riders that are involved. Essentially, what these are going to allow you to do is tap into that death benefit while you're living. Uh, so our terminal illness rider, if you have a life expectancy of 12 months or less, you can tap into that death benefit. A uh, chronic illness rider, as long as uh, they're unable to perform two of the six daily activities, uh, they'll be able to uh, tap into that death benefit. And then our critical illness rider, um, which is gonna cover all these conditions that you see here. The guaranteed insurable rider is gonna allow your clients to go ahead and increase uh, their death benefit on the policy itself. Um, these are all the uh, the life events that will allow them to go ahead and do that. So if they do get married, uh, maybe they are adopting a children, child, uh, they have a new newborn at home, or the third policy anniversary and every th three years after that. There's a great website that we do have that is available to you as the agent. Uh, if you go to mutualvomaha.com forward slash simple, uh, you don't even need to log in to access this material, but there's going to be product guides out there. Uh, there's going to be training videos. So for this product itself, there's two training videos we have. One is a producer facing, and then the other one is client facing. So if you'd like to get more information on this product and learn a little bit more about it, uh, you can go out to that website and all that information is gonna be at your fingertips. Here's a look at the marketing materials uh, that we have for the product. If you wanna go ahead and order these, you can call sales support at this number below and they will go ahead and uh, send these out directly to your home. Uh, these are free for you. So the next product that I'm gonna go over with you today is our Living Promise. This is our final expense product. We have two benefit plans. We've got level benefit plan, which is gonna have an issue age of 45 years old up to 85. Uh, you can get your clients all the way up to $40,000, but as low as $2,000 in coverage. And that's gonna be standard tobacco and non-tobacco rates. Uh, then we have a graded benefit plan, which has an issue age of 45 to 80, uh, with a max benefit of $20,000 but again, as low as $2,000 in coverage. And then uh, we just have one uh, rating on that, which is gonna be a standard rating. So there's no tobacco distinction with the graded benefit plan. There are two riders available. We've got the accidental death benefit rider. This is gonna be an added cost rider. And then we've got uh, the same rider that we had on the IUL. Uh, which is the accelerated death benefit or the terminal illness or nursing home confinement rider. So there's a lot of different benefits with the living promise that are built into the policy. So it's gonna be a tax-free death benefit. Uh, we've got that accelerated death benefit. And then we've got the accidental death benefit as well. So the underwriting, here's kind of a picture of what the application 
looks like itself, um, but it is going to be a decline if your clients answer yes to any questions in part one. So they would not be eligible for coverage. And then for part two, if they answer yes to any questions on the application, that's going to be a graded death benefit. So here are the underwriting guidelines for the product. So the level benefit, if they answer no to all the application questions on the application, uh, graded death benefit, if they answer yes to any questions in part two, and then they're not gonna be eligibility for coverage if they answer yes to any questions in part one. Um, and then what we're gonna do to underwrite the, the policy further is we're gonna pull the MIB, we're gonna do a, a script check and then random telephone interviews which is about one out of every 10. so it's, it's essentially the same underwriting as the iul e product that we just went over here's a look at the marketing materials for this product um, as well you're going to find these on that simple website that i gave you uh, but if you want to have uh, the non-pdf versions and the actual physical copy you can go ahead and call uh, sales support to get that. Uh, the next product I'm going to go over with you is our critical advantage portfolio. So you do need your health license to sell this product, um, but we see this being sold across the board. You know, everybody on this call knows somebody that has had cancer, heart attack, and stroke. Uh, you know, that's a, a thing that unfortunately doesn't play favorites. Um, so we see this being sold in, in the under age 65 and the over age 65 market. But there are three total products that you can sell within the portfolio. Um, all of these are located on the same application. Uh, critical illness is going to cover cancer. It's going to cover heart attack and stroke as well as nine other conditions. Um, that's going to be the most comprehensive but also the most expensive policy. Uh, we've got a standalone cancer policy, and then we've got a heart attack and stroke policy. Now, the cancer, heart attack, and stroke policies, they can be sold together. I'll give you an example of that in a second. Uh, but with these products, all three of them, there are a lot of variations of the policy design that can really meet your client's budget. Um, so just like life insurance, we offer whole life coverage, and we offer term life coverage. Um, so we know that whole life is obviously more expensive than term it works the same way with these products now to give you kind of a, a brief background history of critical illness it was actually invented by this doctor dr marius bernard and he was on the first human to human transplant team, first human to human transplant team back in 1983 um, and the reason he created critical illness because even with medicated medic Medical advances back then, he realized that he could heal his patients, but the financial stress was working against everything he was doing as a doctor to get his patients better and uh, making a full road to recovery. So he realized there needed to be a type of product in place to take that financial burden away from those individuals. So he created critical illness uh, back in 1983, and it is still very similar. Uh, to what we have around today. So the key advantages of this product, it's a very fast and easy sale. Um, it's an untapped market, which means there's you know not a lot of agents out there that are, are selling critical illness. However, this type of product um, is easily sold when we see it in the marketplace itself. If the agent just asks their clients to buy it, they will buy it. Uh, simply because of that fear that I mentioned before of having a critical illness type of diagnosis. Um, so when you do sell this product, we actually have an average issue age or an average turnaround time on that of less than 48 hours. Um, and that is when you submit the product itself uh, to when you're gonna get a decision from our underwriting team. Uh, it's very competitively uh, compensated for you as the agent. Uh, we have both an e-app and paper app available. There's no policy fee with the product. You can payroll, deduct, or list bill. Uh, so if you run across any small businesses or anything like that, 
and you find three or more people that want to buy the critical illness, cancer, or heart attack and stroke policy, you can list bill that. Uh, you do have to use our paper app if you do that route. It's very simplified underwriting, uh, so it's yes, no, knockout questions. So as long as they answer no to all the questions on the application, they will get uh, essentially the policy. Um, it is eligible for producer and marker, marker incentive trips. Uh, we've got a great incentive going on right now called our Four Quarters Club. Uh, so if you sell any of these IUL, uh, life insurance simplified underwriting products, and you sell $25,000 or more within one quarter, it's gonna allow you to get an extra 10% bonus on your compensation. And then there are multiple quoting options with the product as well. So you can quote this on the e-application, you can quote it on the mobile quoting tool, or you can quote it on WinFlex. Um, so the key advantages for the consumer, this is a lump sum tax-free check that they get upon diagnosis. As long as they are diagnosed with a certain condition that it covers, they will get paid that check in full. Um, cancer is our number one selling product within the portfolio. All there is is three total questions that you would need to ask your clients. Um, those questions are, do you have HIV or AIDS? In the last 10 years, have you had any pre-screenings for cancer? Um, sorry, in the last 10 years, have you had any internal cancer? And then the third and final question is in the last three years, have you had any pre-screenings for cancer that weren't ruled out as cancer, cancers? And if that policy is 10 to $50,000 in coverage, um, we're only underwriting off those total questions on the app. So we're not pulling an MIB, we're not doing a script check. There's no telephone interview. So what that means for you as the agent is you can confidently tell your clients, hey, congratulations, I know you're getting this policy. Uh, our critical illness product within the portfolio has a built-in return of premium for lifetime coverage. So what that means, it's not a writer that you need to actually add, it, it is built in. So we were able to do that and you can tell your clients, hey, if you never use this policy, you're not diagnosed with a, a you know, certain critical illness, every penny you pay into it is going to come back to your beneficiaries when you die. We're the only carrier that has this type of benefit that I am aware of. Um, so another big selling point for you as the agent. Um, this type of product is really there for your clients to fill gaps. You know, if they have health insurance, there may be uh, deductibles, uh, there may be, you know, certain gaps of coverage, but if you are diagnosed with a critical illness, you could be referred out to a specialist. That specialist could be out of state and you may have you know, out-of-pocket costs like airfare trips, uh, hotel costs, maybe you get put on a special diet. You know, Those are all the things your health insurance is not gonna pay for and that's what this policy really comes in to help your client out with. Um, it is guaranteed renewable for the life of the policy or the term. Um, so what that means is your client's locked in the, on their rates. So the rate that they get issued the policy is the, the rate they're gonna pay year over year. Uh, we have individual family coverage available with the product. There's no reduction in benefits at any age. And the reason I point this out is some of our competitors at age 65 or 70, once you hit that age, they actually slash your benefit amount in half. So if you had a policy with them, maybe that started at age 40 and you've been paying for that policy for 25 years, you hit age 65, well, that policy is now only worth half. That doesn't work with us, so the, the policy that your client you know, signs up for, that's what they'll ultimately get at any age if they're diagnosed with the condition. Um, rates are based on the current age that they are, and then we have a child conversion option as well. So if we take a look at critical illness, um, our lifetime coverage for the critical illness product goes all the way up to age 64. And then we have a term option up to 54 and you can do a 10, 15, 20 or 30 year term with that. Uh, the nice thing with this product is if your client really likes the lifetime option and they maybe can't afford it, 
what they can do is convert that from a term option years three through 10 of the policy to lifetime without any additional underwriting. Now, I kind of went over the plan design options already, but it is individual, individual plus children or family coverage. We start as low as $10,000 and go all the way up to $100,000 in coverage. And then again, that built-in return of premium is just on our critical illness product. Here's a look at all the conditions that we cover with this product. So we cover internal cancer, malignant melanoma, heart attack, stroke. Alzheimer's is a big condition that we cover. Not every carrier in the, in the market covers uh, that. So, you know, if you maybe have ran across clients that have tried to get long-term care in the past or maybe couldn't afford it, you know, having something in place is better than nothing. Obviously, this isn't long-term care um, coverage, but it is something for your clients to have. And then blindness, paralysis, deafness, kidney failure, and then major organ transplant. All of that is covered at 100%. So it doesn't matter you know, how serious that diagnosis is. As long as they get diagnosed with any of the conditions, they will get paid in full. And then covered at 25%, we've got coronary artery bypass surgery and then coronary angioplasty surgery. So if they're diagnosed with these conditions, they get paid out 25% of their benefit, and they're still gonna have 75% left to use at a later date. Uh, there are a couple optional riders you can add onto the policy. We've got an intensive care unit rider. Um, this is gonna pay a benefit to the client if they go into the ICU for any reason. It doesn't matter if it's a critical illness. Um, it would be for any accident or sickness and they can get anywhere from $250 a day up to 1,000, uh, depending on what they choose on the application. And then we've got a cash value rider. Uh, this is our living return of premium rider. And how this works is um, it's gonna take 25 years to build up to 100%, but every year that you're paying for that policy, you're gonna build up a greater percentage within the cash value piggy bank. So it, at 25 years down the road, if they decide, hey, I no longer want this policy and they wanna cancel it, they can get 100% of their premiums paid back to them while they're living. Um, if they decide to cancel it maybe 10 years down the road, they can get a portion of their premiums paid back to them while they're living. Now, if we take a look at the cancer, heart attack and stroke products, um, it's gonna be very similar, but there are some key differences to that critical illness. So for lifetime coverage, if you remember, we go up to age 64 for critical illness. Uh, these products actually go all the way up to age 89. So that's why we see a lot of people within the senior de demographic buying these type of products. And we see them being bought with you know, Medicare supplements or maybe our final expense product. Um, they go really well uh, with those types of policies. The other key difference is that built-in return of premium that we had on the critical illness, that is not available on the cancer, heart attack, and stroke products. However, everything else is the, the same. Now, the cancer, heart attack, and stroke, um, cancer is going to cover just that, and then the heart attack and stroke is, is going to cover um, that as well. However, you can sell these two products together together. Um, and how you would do that is you're gonna choose one of them as your base benefit policy, and then you're gonna choose the other one as your rider on that policy. Now you can do different benefit amounts and one will not affect the other. And what I mean by that is for example, say if you had a $50,000 cancer policy and then a $10,000 heart attack and stroke rider, and you were diagnosed with cancer, you get paid out that $50,000, but you would still have that $10,000 heart attack and stroke rider in place. That doesn't go away. So even though it's gonna be one policy, they're essentially gonna work like two separate policies uh, for your clients. So here's the cash value rider that I mentioned. Uh, here's the chart. So after five years of having that policy, you're gonna start building a greater percentage and then at 25 years it's going to be equal to 100 percent and they can get all of the premiums paid into the policy at that time 
Um, the other great thing with this product is we are available in every single state except for New Hampshire and Montana. Uh, there is one caveat to this. There are some states that have some limitations on the product. Um, so for example, California, uh, you can only get up to age 64 for all three products in that state. So I always tell agents, go out uh, to sales professional access. Uh, there's a form called our state matrix form. And uh, this form will let you know if the state that you're selling in has any limitations to the product itself. Um, however, you know, what we saw with this product during the pandemic is a lot of agents resorted to uh, phone sales. And this is an easy product to sell over the phone. So if you want to go back to your current client base, just maybe as an easy touch point, you know, let them know you've got a great product uh, that they can sell or that they can purchase from you uh, for this. Here is the uh, state matrix form that I just mentioned um, that is available out there on our website. And that is it for the presentation today. So now, if you do have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and put them in the chat box. I think I, I can see two questions. Can you see them? I am not right now. Let's see. Um, one is, are the... Are there plans to make the software more user friendly to structure plans a certain way? Um, yes, so we are actually currently working. Um, you know, I think what we want to do from a mutual of Omaha standpoint, and I'm guessing they're referring to WinFlex. Um, I know that WinFlex is a, is a bulky tool um, and kind of painful sometimes to use. And our plan is to get you know, all of the illustrations integrated within our, our EF. Uh, we are currently uh -huh. doing we are currently doing that with our IULE product. If you choose the 100% participation rate, uh, the illustration is actually going to get inputted within the EF itself. Um, so that's our. Uh -huh. that's, but yes, we are we are working on that. Um, someone asked if I, if I can send the webinar out to them later and I can't, I, we do record it. And if you'll just let me know, I'll get you the link emailed out. And I, um, there was another question about if the product is one and done, which is, I think probably, um, uh, talking about the critical illness. Yes. So. It is a one and done type of policy. We do not, I'm sure they're they're referring to a, a recurrence rider. Um, we do not have that on the policy itself. So um, if they are paid out that benefit, the policy goes away. All right. Well, this is really great information, and I think um, I you know critical illness doesn't get brought up enough and um, one thing that I like to talk to people when they're selling disability insurance is the importance of having a critical illness policy since um, short-term disability is so hard to obtain and it isn't exactly a short-term disability fix but you know if you had a heart attack stroke cancer you've got that potential that you're going to go on to into a long-term disability and that can help with you know your 90 day wait your you know whatever eligibility period that you have um and i know that you didn't go into the um accidental death but um i think that there's a window of people that are too young to get a, a guaranteed issue policy or um and um and and so those buying that accidental death benefit policy gives them a little bit of coverage when they can't purchase, you know, they're in that window of time where they have to get old enough to buy something that's either simplified or guaranteed issue. So. Right. And um, that policy is very, very inexpensive. So mm -hmm. it, it's, you know, pennies on the dollar with that type of policy. 
So we always ask a few polling questions, so I'm going to do that right now, and then we can wrap this up. Um, one is um, if you would like to have more information on wealth, uh, on wealth, IMS wealth management. All right, I'll close that down. Secondly is, um, would you like to attend an upcoming Life Annuity Academy or Life Academy? All right, and the last question I have is, um, would you like more information on the products discussed today or to get contracted with Mutual of Omaha? All right, well, that's all, all I've got. Uh, Kyle, anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Um, thank you very much for having me on the call. Uh, hopefully, everybody got something out of the presentation today. I know I didn't go over all the products, but uh, I didn't want to overwhelm everybody. But, um, yeah, thank you for your business at Mutual of Omaha, and uh, hope you all have a great week. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your week.